Okay, we've been trying to clean this thing. I've picked at it and poked at it and brushed it and whatever. Went through sort of a catastrophe as far as keyboards go. Not sort of, a big catastrophe. I blew dust into it by turning a fan on <clears throat> when it was open and there was a pile of dust in front of the fan. Lovely. So, um, I'm only realizing that. So I've shut it down. I've picked and poked and used my soldering uh, instrument tools to kind of get under there and um, dig out some bits and I'm sure you'll be seeing that in the video. And now I'm going to work. I've got a full can of canned air and I've discovered that you can pry these up and then it'll be high enough to fit the nozzle from the canned air. So I'm going to do that. But the other thing I'm going to do is one of the things that I've found is that I'm um, blowing the canned air under one key so that key starts working but it makes the other key stop working because there's a little space back there. So I'm going to try to make it so that we can get most of the keys working. Alright, I'm making an observation here that I care less about these keys than I care about these keys. So I'm going to stand it on its end with this part pointing down and then kind of wiggle and jiggle the keys to kind of loosen up some stuff hopefully. Get the canned air, start at the top and spray um, so that the, um, the dust will go down. So we'll try that. Hopefully we'll be able to get this baby going again. It's getting better. It's just uh, still um, inconsistent enough to be annoying. Okay, so I've stood it on its end and then playing with the keys. So I'm imagining that it's loosening up some stuff in here. And I'll probably put it on its side, on its front and whatever and keep on doing this. So we're making, hopefully, some of this stuff move around. Okay? All right. Okay, so now we have our canned air loaded up. You can use this tool. It has a little hook. These have little hooks. Basically, all I'm trying to do is to get the keys up enough so that the canned air can fit underneath it. So like this, and then see it'll raise up and then the canned air will fit. So I'm going to do that. Got two hands, need them both. So you won't see this part of the video, but you'll see the result. Okay, I think I'm finally finding the really best way to clean these darn things is to use that pick to pick off these letters and then snap them back on. The only thing is you run the risk that they might not actually um, go back on and hopefully this one will. Which way is up for Anne? Let's try this way. Okay, good, and it's on. So that's looking like it's... Okay, I did that with this. So these, and actually they looked pretty good underneath, but they were still giving problems, so... I don't know. Let's see how this works. So let's, um... Uh, let's go to a new tab. And I'm going to do exclamation mark. Nice. S... A, D, B was giving trouble, N, O, N is still giving trouble, and I just put N back on. So M, pretty good, E, two E's, O, I, U, U is giving trouble, so maybe I'll fix U, and maybe I'll go back in at N. Yeah, because U feels a little crabby. And Enter is giving trouble. So... Oh well. Okay, but that's a whole lot better. Okay, I think I'm messed up here. The U, we popped it off. Here I am pressing it. U. Oh, great, it goes. U. Oh, now it's going. Not every time. U didn't go. U did. U didn't go. U didn't go. U 
you have to press it really hard. You, 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 there, you, you. So it's gonna be a problem, but I've sprayed it several times, popped it off. Um, that may just be how that key is. Oh well.